coming up off, coming in off his schedule to do this. He wants to be here like the rest of us. Uh, before we uh, do anything else, I'm, I'm, I understand I've got the word that Chalk Master Dave is done. And um, we're actually going to show what... Now, he got here at noon today. This this work of art, this, this creation has uh, uh, began today. Hang on one second. Hang on. Oh, hang on. I was just going to say, one, I, I thought it was tragic, although maybe a, a metaphor for the cycle of life that all that chalk last year washed away and that we have to keep replenishing it. This is something we're going to make sure it doesn't wash away. Well, this is on a canvas. Um, show them what you've done. This is Chalk Master Dave. today, right here in Nathan Phillips Square, they want to see it over there, it, there you go, yeah, <laughs> I think if Jack were here, he'd start an auction right now, let's raise some money, come on, way to go, that's, that is beautiful, and, and, also in the spirit of all the great art that's been done in this square over the last year and by all means get out the chalk after we're done here tonight. Um, we are, there's the strike of the bell, we're, we're getting close to the end of this tribute. Um, it is a, <laughs> it's very, it's macabre, the, the, the ringing of the bell. Um, it is a, a privilege to share this night with you all. Uh, Jack touched us so profoundly both through his life and really through his death. Jack made this country better and challenged us to continue what he started. He was a fighter. Jack yeah, Layton was yeah. a fighter. Yeah, yeah. And he was a character who did, his, who did things his own way. And that included planning his own funeral. Um, and I don't think any of us can forget if you were there or if you watched it on television how that day blended this heartbreaking sorrow and bouncing joy at the same time. How at his request it wrapped up with a rafter shaking rendition of Lorraine Segato's Rise Up. Well Lorraine Segato from Parachute Club is here again to sing us out in style as Jack would have wanted. But first, it is an honor to introduce another woman who so many of us have grown to love and admire, so many of us have, know, have known in Toronto for her work on these streets uh, over the years, um, and for her grace uh, as Jack got sick and after his passing, the way she inspired us all Please welcome Olivia Chow and Mike and Sarah Layton. Here, hearing from all the Torontonians and Canadians from across the country about how my dad's vision of a Canada where we have a more loving, hopeful, and optimistic society has meant so very much to all of us and has helped our family cope through this very difficult time. Hey -ho. How you carry on our father's hope and his optimism in your community and in your daily lives is inspiring. Thank you all for coming out tonight. Look around you. I am humble. 
wonderful to see all of you here and to see all the messages across Canada through DearJack.ca and through emails. Jack would have loved this. Well, wow, he would have. Today is a sad day, but it's also a good day. A day to remember Jack's life. A day to remind ourselves of the values he taught us. A day to renew our commitment to continue his work. Looking back at this year, I believe Jack has given us even more than I realized. He has allowed us to verbalize to each other the values he so embodied during his life. A belief in the goodness in people. A commitment to social justice, a determination to make a justice, to make a difference, and a belief that a better world is possible. <laughs> Jack's voice is not with us tonight, but his vision is. We can build an economy with good jobs and a clean environment. We can make life more affordable and have more equality. We can care for our seniors and for our children. We can have much better health care and a better education. Yes. We can. He said in his final letters to all of us, I believe in you. He called on all of us to pick up his torch and I know in my heart that you have and you will. Right? I have a personal message to all of you tonight. A personal message to so many people across this country, this beautiful country of ours. I want to personally thank you for making it possible to get through this very tough year. There were difficult days and traumatic moments. I've experienced times that have tried me to the core. And in each of those times, I've had, had the loving embraces of so many of you. So many cards and emails of support, so many hugs, so many paintings, songs, and creativity, and so many stories of how Jack has touched your life. It has been your connections and your belief in Jack's values that have allowed me and our family to get through this tough year, and I thank all of you, because I'm forever indebted to all of you. I want to thank the Broadband Institute for bringing all of us together from coast to coast to coast. Thank you to all the artists for your creativity and your talents. It's amazing. We have an amazing country of amazing artists and actors and singers, songwriters. And to all of those across the country that are celebrating Jack's life, thank you so much. And I know that together we will continue living a life full of hope full of optimism and full of love. Because together we can change the world. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you to all of you. Listen, um, one of the things I've learned over the last year is that uh, loss is one of those things that urges you to dig really deep.